Child, we are at it again, honey. And this time, we're taking the Queen's Supreme Court live show down to the Riviera Maya in Mexico. Now, girl, y'all already know how we went down there to the Dominican Republic last year and told them people down. Baby, we let the Dominican Republic have it, baby. Mexico, it's y'all turn, and y'all better get ready. Mark your calendars. July 10th through the 15th, you need to rush over there to www.qscvacations.com. That's qscvacation.com to get your ticket. Everything is included, baby. Food, drinks, and lodging, girl. All you got to do is get there. So come on. Don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. Die to the bar in Mexico. Yes, God, honey. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, T.S. Madison, honey. And I know that you've been wondering, what's been going on with the after show? Well, guess what? <laughs> we have a new show. It's called Cracking the Cold Cases, honey. week when we have our guests we get down into the nitty-gritty dirty gritty dirty birdie how about that yes now this week our guest has been james right chanel now we got a plate of food that miss mary cooked jane <laughs> jane <laughs> you calling up there miss mary yes can i get the cow county police over here <laughs> <laughs> she just committed a crime <laughs> Miss Mary, she took this food all the way to the king. Do you hear me? Baby, let me tell you. Let me just tell you, look. Mm -hmm. mm. You smell, oh. Oh my God, the dressing don't even need cranberry sauce. Did you eat some of the roast, James? I didn't even have no roast. Baby, I didn't even have everything. So we Ooh, that pasta salad! Bitch. And you can cook, bitch. So when 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 I hear a cook say, just that old school grandma dress. All this food is grandma. Mm-hmm. James, I want to crack a cold case with you. Let's crack one. How it go? Number one. After you rose to notoriety for going viral by singing about Patty LaBelle's pie, many people were upset with Patty after she publicly denied that your viral video is why so many of her pies flew off the Walmart shelf, selling one pie every second for 72 hours straight. What was the first... I ain't know that. What was the first conversation like with Patty? And did you ever get... Did it ever become lucrative for your involvement with the patty pie craze? The first conversation, first, let me get Miss Mary taste out of my mouth. I'm <laughs> thinking about Miss Mary. The first conversation she called, um, and that's a funny thing, I haven't recorded, nobody never heard it. I'm gonna let you be first, I'm gonna call you so you can hear it. You be first was in here. Mm -hmm. So um, I recorded the con our conversation, I was on the phone, I recorded on my iPad because I couldn't believe she called. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, James. Uh-huh. And I was like, Patty. <laughs> so, I said, wait, girl, I, I need a minute. Because, like, like, somebody you really yes. like and look up to, just for them to call you. Same thing it was like with Nicki Minaj did. Right. Mm -hmm. For her to call you, mm -hmm. it's, it's epic. And so, she called and we talked. And she was just like, it was an amazing thing what you did with those pies. And I was like... Still shocked, like oh my god, it's Patty. But it was like really, really, really like an epic moment in my life. It was so epic, like it was just epic. So did it become lucrative for you? It's kind of like because a lot of people out there in the world wants to know, like, did you begin to make lots of money after it had happened? No, mm. I did not make lots not of money right after it happened. Mm -mm. I make lots of money right after it happened. And I still don't make lots of money. I get by. Right. I do what I have to do 
to maintain, keep a roof over my head and my bills. But it opened up doors. It opened up lots of doors. And there was one point where I did get a large amount of money. But... Was it from Patty? No. Mm. It was from... Oh, you know, Merle... Um, uh -huh. Merle... Uh, what is it? What's her name? Merle Streeter? Merle Streeter. I can't pronounce her last name. The actress? Coella. The lady that played Coella? Oh, that's not Meryl Streep. Yeah, that's, that's Glenn Close. No, that's Merle. No, the lady that played... No, not her. No, it's Merle. No, the lady Michael who Cole plays... DeVille. The lady who plays um, Cruella DeVille is... When that played Merle, uh, that, that played Miranda Priestly is Meryl Streep. Yeah, so remember the movie Florence Foster Jenkins? When she was trying to be a singer and she couldn't sing? A couple of years ago. They, were, they contacted me to do... A promo thing for her video. Remember when I was on stage singing um, When Beneath My Wings? Yes, yes. That was for her movie. Ah, uh, Meryl Streep. And Meryl, Meryl <laughs> gave me a check, honey. She broke you off. <laughs> yes, yeah, shot out of our We love to get broke off in this Meryl. Out here. Meryl. But that happened then. I mean, you know, each and every day something different happens. Yeah. But I never really ever had like a large amount of money or like, you know. I work. Right. I hustle. And you know what? You know, when people ask these questions, they don't they don't get it. They think that just because you come into uh in, into contact with a mega star or a superstar or a list celebrity, whatever, that your life is supposed to just oh, live yeah. over. No. Like girl, your life is gonna go on and go forward. You just have to take whatever opportunity that they give you right. or whatever or whatever door because it's basically it's like they open the door uh -huh. with just their presence in your life right. and stamping you. Now you got to go for no, it. You got to go do it. And that's what I do. I go do it. I go get it. All right. Number two. Many people felt as if your placement on LA Hair was a stretch. How did you get involved? How contrived was the drama? And what is your status in relation to the show? Did it help your career? So LA Hair, how I got involved, craziest thing. I don't know if people knew. I made a video on Instagram. <laughs> About uh, towards Kim Kimball, mm -hmm. like girl Kim, look at my wig, Kim. Yes. And she seen that video and was like, Ah, who was that? I want him on my show. Right. And that video got me on this show. Yeah. Here, I'm here. I'm here. here. H e r e. I'm here and I'm working at Kim Kimball's salon. Kim, I'm here. I'm here, Kim. Kim, I'm here. Right. A lot of people was like, that was stage. Well, the craziest thing was it wasn't, and she was like, uh. You coming in to work the wig line. The way you worked that wig line in your video or whatever, whatever. And I got in and I was like, yeah, we ain't going to be on the show too. All right. All right. So, so, did, so it kind of did become. It a helped. Movie. It helped a it whole helped. lot. All right. A whole lot. Okay. And so what, what about the drama? Was it made up drama? What's crazy is the drama in the salon was not made up. That was one of the shows that I've done where it was not. It was Free. real drama. Oh, yeah. When Giorgio uh, snatched that girl up, he really snatched her up. Oh. Yeah, there was like holes in the walls and everything from that scene. Oh. Come oh, on. yeah. Come on, we TV to hold it down. Oh, yeah. It wasn't It wasn't like pre, this is what we're going to do. Mm -mm. It was like, this is our scene. Run with it. Oh. And do you regret doing it? Would no, I actually had, I had fun. Huh? A lot of fun. And you do it again. I would do it again. All right. Now, you're constantly seen with our girl Tamar. While some would say you have a true friendship, others may say you are a tag along gay friend. What do you say? Has your relationship with Tamar been lucrative for you? Um, yes, but uh, as a tag, people, I do see people say a tag along. Well, I am sometimes her hairstylist. I am her background singer. Mm -hmm. I am sometimes her wardrobe stylist. And I tour with her. Yes. And it's not a tag along. It's called work. Right. So you do get paid to work, to sing, and do yeah. things. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of times... You know the one thing I love about her? And then that show, Judy, too, because yeah. you know her That's my girl. personally. Yeah. And, her, and been in her all, you know, space and, yeah. and all that. That's my girl. People don't understand about her, and I have to tell people all the time. Um, for example, somebody the other day said that they was on tour with somebody, and they wasn't, she was like, and it's been a month, and I still ain't got paid. And I said, <gasps> baby, my sister Braxton, she don't play that. Right. 
And when you get out, when that, when everybody get off stage, when every, you worked. Like, she and had, there's your check. You, you worked, and this is what you get. Your, you get your pay. You worked. And that's one thing that I love about her is that she makes sure her people is taken care of. Like, she's not one of those people that be like, there's people that play and sing background for people and all that and don't even, even know the person. Like, and not because, just because I know her, but it's people that don't even know the people they're working with. Mm. It's like you on tour with somebody and you only in doing whatever hair or makeup or whatever, and you don't even know her. Like, right. They they don't they don't take the time to talk to you. They they, they feel but like Tamar is our friend. She's, we I, I, we she's love her. Friend. I love her. I do. And I, and you protective of her because there was a time, honey, when when y'all thought that Daniva was talking about her. Oh, <laughs> you call you like bitch. But we all we 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 came in and, and that was settled. We all we talked settled about it. it. We settled it. We was talking but about. I don't play, <laughs> and I'm not a tag along. Right. Okay. So you're known for your amazing. Amazing voice. And James, I've told you this on numerous occasions. The blessing that's in that thorax that you got. <coughs> they there. Yeah. How has your music career shaped ever since you stepped into the limelight? How has it done? I've been to one of your concerts. Like, I, yeah. we were in Mexico together. Mm -hmm. And I was, I, I honestly, this is for me. I was, I was so caught up in you singing. Like, you sang, you performed. You know, it was it was just it was amazing watching you in your element. Like, right? I, I, I you're we're friends. We right. late night talk. We mm -hmm. come in. Well, this this is not your first time at house, but I come to your house when I'm in LA. We come right. in my room. We keep we chill. So it's you being my friend. When I saw you in your work element, mm -hmm. I was starstruck. No, oh, I go I was. You were singing. Yeah. And then June's Diary was your was your background girls, and uh, Monifa came in and mm -hmm. said, "I was there. I was screaming at the top. You probably didn't hear me. I'm like, oh, you was in front, the whole screaming, time standing up, screaming, singing all the songs. I see screaming you. at you because I was I was like, this is my friend. My friend is a star. Thank you. My friend is a star. I was just I was so, and I, I don't want to get emotional about it because." We as gay and LBGT mm -hmm. people have it so hard, right? With with so many gifts, so many talents, right? So few opportunities, right? But you know what's crazy? I always tell people when they like, there's so many people that be like, like, what did you do? Like, my family doesn't support because I'm LGBT or whatever, and I have to tell them. Even though there's people that try to act tough and be like, oh, I don't need my family. I, I, I. No, that's not true. You do. Like, if you at my, you was in my home and yeah. you see my cousins come through all through my house, my, my, you was in there with Kiki with my mama, like, I can literally say I've never, ever in my life felt unloved. Like, my male cousins, oh, I'm their favorite person. Like, and these are my straight, hardcore male cousins. Like, and so... The fact that you, ha I have the support from my family, it allows me to be free to do what I want to do. And I don't have to be feeling like boxed in or I can't do this, I can't do this. And as far as like when I'm on stage, I like to always create a moment. So when you seen the show, that was my actual band at home that I use and travel with. And June's Diary, I've given been my girl since day one. And so, I was like, y'all singing with me tonight. And they were like, what are we singing? Give us the list. Girl. And then Monifa, you know, I mean Monifa, oh, I love her. Oh, my pieces. God, I love Monifa. If y'all have never met Monifa, she is like the most and amazing she's, spirit. She, Monifa sings. Sings her face. The girl, and it's just like people don't oh. even know that that woman can sing the way she does. She like, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm really in a space because... People call me a cop chaser mm -hmm. and stuff like that because, you know, I don't know why. Stars have always gravitated right. to me. Always. Like, well, let me tell you, cop chasers don't have their own brand. You have your own brand. Yeah. I, I have to remember that. For a cop chaser is a nobody. Yeah. 
the, the, somebody. They, they gravitate to me. They're always calling me for the, the same way. Right. You know, and, and just like Jane, when, when, you, when you gave me the award in Mexico and you said to me, I, I so appreciate you for even putting that call in to somebody that put that call in to right. daddy. Right. I nev I've never been anywhere and, and, and bragged about that or, or talked about that or whatever right. because I loved you. Mm -hmm. When I was coming up in my first set of becoming a, star, a social media star, mm -hmm. you was out there supporting me, bitch. Right. Inboxing you, messaging you. Do I want to do my hair and everything. Girl, right. I, 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 I can't get into these emotional spaces because people don't really know my journey. They don't. Or your story. They don't. They judge from whatever they think they see. They don't know it. And then they, they, they don't eat. They, you don't be a human being anymore. You be something that they just talk about, talk about, talk about, and, mm -hmm. and dissect and, and critique. Right. And I've been in my, I've been a star. Been. Right. Before even this shit right here. Right. And that's the same with me. Everybody knew who I was. Um, so, I don't know, uh, whenever Tyra Banks talk show was out, Years and years ago, I was on her talk show, yeah. right? So I had all these stars cut in my head. And so she said, what are the stars for? And my friend said, girl, he a hood star. He hood famous. So she was like, a hood star? And my friend was like, yeah, you know, everybody know who he is. Like, he's popular. Yeah. And so the this guy, he would always, and I lived in my neighborhood, I was like, what up, hood star? Because he's seen that episode. And it was crazy because from that day, and I'm sitting there like, if this was mega star calling me a star, I'm going to stop. The star. And you got to know that. Many are called but few are chosen. Right. And I do feel that we we are chosen. Right. And, and we haven't even, which brings me to my last question. What can you share with us regarding the future of your career? I, I don't want to interject, but I do. We ain't even scraped the, the, the surface right. of what, what God has planned for us. At all. At all. And, and you, James, with the gift that he gave you, that magnificent gift that he gave you, the gift of song. He gave me the gift of laughter and entertainment, right. you know? You know, sometimes I sit back and I'll be like, why me? Like, you could have given anybody else all of these different gifts that you've given me, but it's just like, why me? Why, why was I, you know, like, and I'm going to tell you, it may, I'll tell you, when I have that moment, those moments, I break down in tears, like, oh, Lord, like, because, like, God could have chosen anybody else, but he chose me, but um, I haven't even seen or fathomed are, are visioned what the next level of my life is going to be. I just know it's going to be epic. And I feel that. And it's, it's, just, it's just going to be epic. It's going to amaze me. Like what God is going to do for you, it's going to amaze you to where you didn't even think you called like me one night. Don't happen for me. You called me one night. In the middle of the night. You forgot? I remember. I did. You said God going to bust that up. I did. You called me. You said God gonna bust that up. Mm -hmm. I remember. I it was, was in late. Too. I was. It was late, and and I was in L.A. Mm -hmm. You say, Maddie, I don't know where you at, but God gonna bust that up. Mm -hmm. That ain't where you supposed to be at. Right. That ain't what you supposed to be doing. You told me right. to call me on mm -hmm. the phone. I remember. Like you say, people don't know. You say when I, I, you say this was just quickened into my. Remember, and I prayed. You did. Mm hmm. I'm telling you, people don't understand. They don't, they don't know that gift that's out of me. Listen, they don't know that, and they don't know that we are like we are close joints because right. we understand and, and we connected. Get it. Yes. Like the funniest thing the other day, I remember. Remember, I was uh, I was remember I was calling you, and and and, I, and you was on the, when I got in the car, you was already on the phone. Yes. <laughs> on on Robert phone. Yes. And I was like, I'm trying to call you. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Like, yeah, we're connected yeah. in so many ways. So many ways. Oh, my God, James. I love you so much. I love you, too. And I do thank you for coming and doing the show. I I, I feel so good that you came and did the show. Mm -hmm. No matter how long I it took. I have to bring my energy in this house. Yes. And I have to get this. Now, this house. Mary Mac. This house. 
This house is clean. <laughs> Remember that from the Portuguese? This house it's is clean. clean. <laughs> Can you take us out with and what should I feel? Uh -huh. Discouraged. And why should the shadows come? And why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I love you, I love you Thank too. you so much. Thank you. Oh. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Huh. Mm -hmm. Now, we finna motherfucking fuck this shit up. With Miss Mary Food. That's it. And we have just cracked. If you ain't had the cold cases. Mary's Food. This ain't the Mary J. Blige. We're not going down. <laughs> mm. I love you guys. I love you too. Bye. Child, we are at it again, honey. And this time, we're taking the Queen's Supreme Court live show down to the Riviera Maya in Mexico. Now, girl, y'all already know how we went down there to the Dominican Republic last year and told them people down. Baby, we let the Dominican Republic have it, baby. Mexico, it's y'all turn, and y'all better get ready. Mark your calendars. July 10th through the 15th. You need to rush over there to www.qscvacations.com. That's qscvacation.com to get your ticket. Everything is included, baby. Food, drinks, and lodging, girl. All you got to do is get there. So come on. Don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. Die to the bar, Mexico. Yes, God, honey.